Howdy, this is Mackenzie Franklin from Side Game LLC here in Colorado Springs, Colorado. Today we're going to be taking a look at Bullet, but this time we're going to be reviewing it. So this is my first review on the channel, so you'll have to tell me if this is a format that you find appealing or if you have any suggestions on how I could improve. Thanks so much for watching. Without further ado, let's go ahead and discuss Bullet. So in Bullet, you're going to be taking these bullets and you're going to be taking the pieces and dropping them into a grid. Now, each time you place them into your grid here, you're going to be dropping them down a number of spaces and the more and more bullets that come into the game board, the more chance they are likely to fall into your end area here. And when you do that, you're going to eventually run out of hit points and lose the game. So you're going to be manipulating your board here, and on the board you're going to be using these pattern cards in order to clear your bullets. So each of the characters has their own set of pattern decks, as well as their own special abilities. So right here, Esphere, she can have a larger hand size, and to go with that, each character also has their own set of actions that they can do. So, what do I think of the game? In general, I think that Bullet is pretty incredible puzzle experience. So the whole premise of bringing out these bullets and putting them into a grid seems fairly, fairly straightforward. But you're going to be using the patterns, and these patterns provide interesting little puzzles that you're going to be wanting to use your action points to achieve. So the action point system here is really cool. You'll have a lot of action points to use, and when you use them, you can manipulate the bullets in your grid, you can move them around, you can draw more of these pattern cards to eliminate things, and when you clear specific bullets with stars, you get action points back. So there's a lot of small little rewards as you play. Now, in addition, each of these characters act completely different. So really cool how each of them have their own special abilities, their own, with their own actions here, and the way they work is completely different than the others, which I think is really, really fun. Now, my favorite type of character in this game are ones that come with additional components. For example, you have this cute little cowboy one. If you use Mariel, she has her own little cowboy piece that's going to go onto her grid, and you can use it to clear things around. But when you use Mariel, your movement is a lot different than normal. You can't just move things one space. It's going to be kind of like one of those sliding puzzles where you're going to push them to the wall. Now, my favorite thing in this game is actually the fact that it has so many different modes. Not only do you have the head-to-head -head mode, that's kind of the original version, but you also have a cooperative variant that you can play. So, so let's, for example, let's take one of the characters here. If you have Ariel here, Mariel, you can actually flip her into Mecha Mary. And it, just like her action board, she has her abilities for her boss as well. So each boss comes with their own special pattern deck. And as opposed to you completing your own patterns to clear things, they're going to have patterns that you're going to need to satisfy to prevent us things from happening. So she's going to be moving all your bullets down every round. So really cool. And just like the characters, each of the bosses will also be different. So each of them have their own specific themes. So you've got her, the Fang Sun, she's going to be throwing out more of these active patterns the further damage she gets. And I think that it does a great job promoting cooperation by adding these additional ability tiles for the cooperative mode. They allow you to take some of your pieces from your grid and put them into your your friend's grid. And so you can really talk back and forth, say, hey, can you get me a red one or something like that. It's really neat to see that cooperation, and I really enjoy this experience. In addition, it makes for a very challenging solo mode, and there's also a score attack and lots of different ways to play this game, which I think just opens up a lot of opportunities. Now, things that you should be aware of. The first thing that you should be aware of when you get this game is you're going to want the deluxe components. So that's huge. The deluxe components come with these giant wooden tokens as opposed to the cardboard. This is a very similar upgrade to things like Orleon or Quacks of Quenlinburg. You're going to want to make sure you have the nicest components possible for this because you're going to be digging into that bag so much and things can get scuffed. The more and more you use it, those cardboard pieces are going to get damaged. So you're going to want to find the Deluxe Edition because it really is super satisfying to pull out these big, chunky wooden pieces and it really adds to that huge tactile experience of the game. So honestly, I don't know if I would play this game that much if I just had the cardboard pieces. 
The other thing to be aware of is there is a real-time element in the competitive version of this game. So you have about three minutes that you're going to be using in order to clear your board off and use your pattern cards and whatnot. But in all the games that I've played, it has not really been an issue if it's not your first game playing. And when it's your first game playing, you can definitely take some time and say, okay, yeah, I'll help you out here. But usually when we're playing the standard mode, after you've played maybe once or twice, you're going to be able to get things done within those three minutes. And it's not that restrictive, really. So this is one of those, I'm not a really, really huge fan of real-time games, but I think Bullet does it just to keep things going along. Otherwise, you really could take forever and it would really slow down the experience. So I really appreciate it for that. Now, am I keeping this in the collection? Well, as you can tell by my enthusiasm for the game as a whole, I'm going to give Bullet a rousing 9 out of 10 here. I think that Bullet is an incredible puzzle game. It really has changed the way that I think about games in general and my thinking and my approach to this style of game. I've been very challenged by this, and I've enjoyed every single game that I've played of this. Now, I'm not the best at this game. I do lose quite a lot, but I love the challenge of the different characters. And by far, I think my favorite character that I've played has to be Ling Ling Zhao. Her whole thing is her pattern cards don't actually have you um, fighting like normal. You're going to be adding the numbers inside of your pattern. So it might look something like this. So you'll be adding the numbers, and based on the numbers that you add up, you'll get a specific effect. So it really hampers the, the, the absolute thinking because you're going to be trying to line up your numbers correctly, but you've also got to be within that time limit so you can't think perfectly every time. So I think this is a really fascinating character and one that I really like coming back to. And to make things even better, her boss mode is actually, she is an AI, an artificial intelligence that's now inside of the computer, and I just think that's really fun. So, wonderful game, Bullet, 9 out of 10 from me. If you have any questions about what you saw here, please leave a comment below. Thanks so much for watching. Side Game Strong.